Two Jews Making Food. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Amy. And today we have a soup for you. Soup-tacular show. It's not no soup for you. It's, it's soup, soup for you. Um, what, Billy, what were you saying about Seinfeld? What's the line? That, oh, no, you didn't say it. The Seinfeld line where he says, soup's not a meal. Soup's not a meal. Yeah. Soup is a meal. Well, it's a meal to today. Me. It's a meal today. Soup and bread. It's one of my favorite meals. Yes. Especially in the fall, winter. Speaking of bread. Please do. We have this amazing um, salted, soured, pickled rye bread um, from our bounty of bread sponsor, Carissa. So thank you to our bread sponsor, they, they Carissa, for providing us, today. us oh my with gosh. Um, this salted, soured, pickled rye. The bread rye. smells so, so good. good. I'm so pumped up to eat this. But I what else wait. smells good is what you have going on here in this pot. I am making a, a faux faux. Fofo, 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 fo, fo. fo, 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 which fo. is a, a Vietnamese soup. Um, like actually, it. it's a South Vietnamese soup, and we actually have a Vietnam veteran in our audience today. So welcome, Billy Field. Hi, Billy. Thank you for Hi. joining us. Hi. So, hopefully, this will bring back a, a good. Me- this will be. This will be. You know, a, 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 something. Too, so, something too tasty. soon. Too soon. Um, <laughs> something tasty for you. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have fond memories of the soup, right? Well, uh, you will after you eat this one. Yeah. I got some water so, boiling. Um, so yeah, this is an aromatic soup. Um, right now I've got um, a vegetable broth that's made with better than bouillon vegetable base mm-hmm. with some aromatics. I've got um, cinnamon stick in there, star anise, peppercorns, mm. um, cloves, and um, I'm about to add in some other aromatics while you do your thing. I am going to yes. be adding in some chopped ginger, some lemongrass, which is very yes, hard to find I get here. Ner- whenever I see it at the grocery but store, I, I get nervous. I know, usually. and like you can rarely ever find like the big lemongrass. Yeah. Usually it's like, little. it's like just little pieces in a package, mm-hmm. but this is like legit lemongrass. So you it's going to be lemongrassy. We got some onions going in there, mm-hmm. some garlic. I can't wait. So very aromatic. Then you strain that all out. And this is out. definitely a soup that's outside of my wheelhouse. Like, yeah. I don't... And I always say I'm afraid of soup, and then I make this, like, crazy soup. I know, you're like, I got the soup to make. And I was like, this is seems very involved, but I'm pumped up It is it. a bit involved, mainly with all the accoutrements you put on after. To and put you do like accoutrements. It's like a soup bar. You put in all your little mm-hmm. toppings mm-hmm. at the end, whatever you like. Well, I... And the soup that I'm making today is a roasted carrot and apple soup, which when I first read it, I thought kind of sounded like just eating hot applesauce, which I wasn't super into. Like, I thought maybe the flavors would be strange. But then I made it, and it is the most delicious soup. It has roasted celery in it, which really rounds out the flavor so nicely. And I put a little cashew cream in, which is a nice way to make a soup kind of milky without using any kind of dairy or anything. So, so wait, is your soup vegan? Uh, yes, I believe so, because it doesn't have it's any It's vegan butter. day. It is vegan day. My, and I don't know what's point. in the bread. Could have butter in it. But, well, probably. But both soups are vegan. Mine's actually from... Um, Vegan cooking for carnivores. Oh, there you go. Um, it, this is actually Ellen DeGeneres' chef, so if you oh. don't like Ellen DeGeneres anymore, sorry. Um, <laughs> but um, but uh, it's but it is a really good soup, and um, I'm excited. So it's when my husband and I were doing like a vegan thing, for, plant based for a while, mm-hmm. and I found this recipe, and it's so good. It's so good. It's so stuck. so the, the chef's name fat. is Roberto Martin. Oh, Roberto. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, he wait. isn't horribly abused. Oh gosh, well, Amy, know, you're just, just going to all say kinds those things of about Ellen. Today, like, it must be true, is, right? Just gosh, get happy. All right. Oh, you know what's gonna get happy? Forget your troubles. Come, Come on, on get, get happy. happy. All right, we're gonna make our. Cocktail. I'm throwing some onions in here, up in here. Boom. So today's cocktail is and these, super oh, simple. Let's super do a cocktail. simple cocktail. Well, you're doing. Oh yes, let's do a cocktail. Um, also, these onions, it's just roughly chopped. It's like you can throw like big chunks in, like this. Just it doesn't even matter if the if the you know whatever the things are on the um skin it doesn't matter billy really no because you're going to strain it all out oh, oh okay that makes far more sense so i'm just chopping it's a medium onion throw it in there all right and i'm grabbing vanilla Aromatics. vodka because i always like a little i love some vanilla vodka. To my, my cocktails to your orange soda to my orange we're making a creamsicle today but in, in an effort to go dairy free we're using what is it again vegan we're oat so, milk we're using oat milk look at us just to keep it on point so I have a little bit of like an orange soda, a little bit of vanilla vodka. My eyes are watering. Why don't you wear your goggles? We did a whole show about how you have to wear goggles. I, know, I messed up. When you cut the onion. All right. Okay. So then once we add the orange soda, onions are in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make a mess. I'm gonna throw some. Uh, ooh, look at that, that guy. Just made a huge mess. All I'm right. I'm gonna throw then... some chopped up ginger in here. And again, you know, rough chop. Ooh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to drink this. This knife is this one of these Japanese ones. 
It's very sharp. Just wanted to give everybody a heads up in case there's a bloody situation. Oh, God, Amy. Right, Billy? I'm crying. I'm bleeding. Yeah, this is also it's another day in the kitchen for me. You're just <laughs> dedicated. You're dedicated. I, already broke, I already broke a glass when we were setting up. Amy, you put yourself into this meal. But yeah. hey, you know, in Judaism, we this. do break a glass. So, you know, oh, that looks good. Right? Are we going to have enough to give our audience? You know what? Let's do this. You want to Let's a share this one. Okay. And then want me to pour it into Because we're both COVID free. And then they oh, can oh, leave little shot glasses over there. Because we have to give you a little cocktail. So, oh, thing, that's really. my water. Here, you want to give them that one? All right, well, let's taste this one. Or we, do you want to pour it in two glasses, or are we trusting that we're both COVID free? We're COVID free. Just pointing that one. Okay. Well, I'm going to taste it. it. Smells. Just be careful good. when you walk over here because I've had a little fun um, in this area on the ground. Oh my God. You know what? Tell me. First of all, she just invented this. Yeah. She made it up. It tastes exactly like a creamsicle. You just, you just invented it? Yeah. Billy, she just invented this. Sam is going to grab them and deliver them to you guys. They're so Thank good. You. You can barely taste the booze. Oh, here. See, I have booze enough for me. Wow. Oh, good, because I'm going to drink everything out of it. So, mm. so, oh, my cheers. God, it's so good. Thank you. Lakayam. Mm. Oh, my God, that is it's good. It's really delicious. I'm I'm so inventive. Sam, maybe this should be the witch's brew for Saturday. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, yum. That's a whole, whole work-related thing. That's soupy. Okay, so, wait, hold on. For my soup. Is that good? For my soup. Let's get to the soup just because. So, wait, just it literally just orange soda. Mm. Um, vanilla vodka. Vanilla vodka and, and oat, oat milk. milk. I was like, Vegan. I we're so we are we're vegan in, all day. We are vegan all day today. All day today, vegan. Isn't it good? It's really good. It's good, right? It's very refreshing. I just made that up. It's you did. So, Some days you get lucky. Some days you such, make up stuff and you're like, you're that's such disgusting. a mixologist. Oh my gosh, yeah. So okay, so my soup. What I did, Get I had in. a pound of carrots, about three to four stalks of celery, and either one or two apples, depending on how big they are. And you just cut them into about three inch pieces. You prep them. You know, like you peel the carrots and then you chop everything up at three inch pieces. You peel and core the apple. You throw it into a sheet pan. You throw it in the oven, 425. It roasts for about 25 minutes. And that's what it's doing now. It's in there. It's already in there. It's going. I'm chopping lemongrass. Yeah, you are, Amy. In a weird way. All right. I don't want it on high. We know how that goes. This, uh, this range is out of control. Oh, and you know what else I could tell you about? The cashew cream. Tell me. So cashew cream is so interesting. So this is just cashews. They're not like... Salted Slow or... down. My mother says we talk oh. too much, too fast. Okay. Sorry, mom. So we're slowing down and we're talking cash. louder for you because we know you're deaf. Just turn up the volume. Anyway, um, I took Sorry. regular cashews. They're just plain. They're or not cashews. salted or roasted. Don't cashews. Cry. Cashews. Please don't I'm just cry. kidding. This show's not that sad anymore. Uh, and then I poured hot boiling water. You can pour cold water over them and leave them overnight, but I find that the hot water works great. And it makes it so it's really mm -hmm. soft. Then to make the cream, you dump out the water that you originally poured. And then pour about an equal amount to how many cashews are in here, however much you use. I'm using about a half a cup, three quarters of a cup. You take the water and then you just zhuzh it with a, I have an immersion blender, so I'll take that and it comes out really creamy and you add it to the soup. It's delicious. I'll show you. Solution. I'm throwing in a bunch of scallions, just the white part for this, as part of the aromatics. I don't think so. I don't think I need to up it one. That is. Go to two, two, two. There we go. Oh, oh a moment of silence. Oh, right. well, I'm turning this on. Show them the tokens. That's cashew cream. Boom. Cashew. Wow. I've made cashew cream too. It's good. Yeah, right? It's so nice. It's just a nice way to add a little bit of um, like milky. Can you see that? Can you use just regular blender? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. If I, because I was bringing it from home, I just bring this. Samantha in. asked if you could use a regular blender, and we said yes. Absolutely. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to this pan. Mm. About a tablespoon of olive oil or however much you like. Some people use more, some people use less. And I'm adding in a shallot. I love shallots as opposed to like regular onions. Or just shallots. Shallots if you're Amy. <laughs> and I'm getting fancy. Cashews and shallots. Here. People aren't going to know Now I'm throwing in. Use. I know. What country are we in today? Like why is she saying it like that? Is that weird? And then I like to just add a little salt and pepper. And you cook these until they're translucent. Salt probably about five minutes or so. I'm crying. You know what? Even the scallions are making me cry. What is wrong with me? You're just a sad soul. such today. a lightweight with the onions. So oh now you're God. just throwing it into a pot. Then what does it do? 
I didn't wipe my eyes. Oh, wait. <laughs> and you don't even have to worry about how big you make any of these pieces. Boop, boop, boop. Um, uh, because you're going to put the immersion blender in in any way to kind of <laughs> blend it all up. So you don't have to make any of the chopping pretty. You just... <laughs> Oh, you know what? What? You're so dramatic. Oh my God, you're really crying. I am. I'm sorry. You for didn't you. believe me? Well, I believe you now. I just see it to believe it. But you know what else you can do is uh. that you can go to the grocery store, and if you don't want to peel and do the whole thing, just get baby carrots. Get a oh. pound of baby carrots that are already washed in the whole thing. I mean, give them a rinse when you get home. But you just put those on the sheet pan. You can get frozen, chopped up onions and throw them on. You could. I mean, there's so many things that you can do to make it fast. I always want to make it fast. Easy. You do. You're all about fast or easy. Well, my kids are always like, I'm hungry. You know, as soon as I've cleaned something up, then they're on to I don't have food. kids. We have dogs. I have dogs. And those dogs have to eat too. They do. You thought about making a dish for a dog. I did. I Yeah, I, have, I make them a little baked treat, which I might do in another episode. A baked treat for a dog? Yeah, it's like a little cake. It's made with oat flour and oat milk and My mom made and, me a cake and, when I was younger, and, like, um, my, my dog. I'm gonna give it you to you. Do you need the dog recipe? Yes. Oh, uh, it's uh, maybe we need to do a whole show about dog. Treats. I was thinking that we could do a whole recipe recipe about a whole episode about dog treats. Kosher. Then dog can treats. I bring my dogs? No. Oh my gosh, your dogs are humongous. Well, just one. One of my dogs is a great thing. She's quite large. And she is great for sure. She's great. She's crazy. Mm. I love the smell of cooking onions. Don't you love the smell? Yeah. Mm. It just smells like joy. Smell of vision. Well, it feels like something exciting is happening. So I'm crushing this garlic that's going in. And again, we're straining, so it doesn't matter. Make it I love that. Okay, so I think... Oh, I need to add a tablespoon of... Um, it says, like, organic white sugar. This is... I mean, this is organic, and it's sort of yellowish, but whatever. Boom. Organic white sugar, but this is yellowish. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's white-ish, but it's organic. I don't think it's... Let's see, anything? Onions, it? scallions, cloves, anise, ginger, cinnamon. Yeah. It was a... Ginger, cloves, so happy. pepper, pepper, peppercorns, sugar, lemongrass. You got it. Oh, I'm putting in a little teeny bit of sriracha, just to make Ooh, it a little yes. bit hot, just a little bit. This is actually a vegetable sriracha. I don't know. A vegetable sriracha? Yeah, it's, oh. it's got. It's like it's a little bit. It's not maybe not as hot, so I put in a oh. little bit. You can add it to your soup when you, you when you garnish if you want it spicier. Okay, I'm take the... okay now this is going to simmer. Simmer it. And take in all the flavors. Look how beautiful these okay. are. That is good. Look at that. Wow. I love roast. Show, show it a look. Oh. Oh, here. And here's my soup. Oh. Um, there's all my aromatics in there and it's cooking up. So that's just going to build up a really nice flavor. Mm, We're going to simmer. Say what? Noodles inside. The noodles go in at the end when you put it in your bowl. So like you can put so I'm gonna put out all kinds of things like I got all these things that you can throw into the soup to add to the flavor. I hope that's um, that's my water. Wait, don't be careful that thing. Yeah. Um, so I am going to add. This is these are instant vermicelli rice noodles. I'm gonna add boiling water to these, and it only takes about three minutes. They get soft. You strain it, and then you can put that in the soup. And then I have all of these various things. Lime. Got to put some lime in the soup mm -hmm. if yes. you want it hot. Some sliced jalapeno. Bean sprouts, which are very hard to find. Um, mint, basil, cilantro. You can do poison sauce. Oh, this is ponzu. You can do poison sauce. You can do soy sauce. You can There's do so much, so many things yeah. in this meal that I absolutely love. Yeah, all the things you need. So, so I, I just threw in some garlic, and about two to three cloves of garlic, and about like a one-inch piece of ginger. I just I get frozen and I leave them in my freezer, and then I just kind of pop them out as I need them. I find that that way it doesn't go bad in my house. Let it, let it go. Let it go? You said you get frozen. <laughs> All right, so once this That was for Brianna. <laughs> Shout out to Brianna's. Samantha's daughter is the cutest thing in the world. So then once you let this sit in here for about a minute. Oh, it smells so good. You're going to just throw mm. in the uh, vegetables. Oh, wait, anyway. Nice. How do you guys like that cocktail? I know we didn't give you very much, sorry. I loved it. So easy. So easy. All right, so now you just... All of our throw. recipes go on um, the LTV website, on our page on their website, ltv.org, I think. Um, but they're also on our website, twojewsmakingfood.com. You can watch our shows on Channel 20. 
on LTV's YouTube. You can also watch them on our YouTube channel, but if you watch them on LTV's, it's better because they get you know more followers that way. Um, more people watching is good on their channel. Is it vodka? Vod oh, vanilla vodka, mm -hmm. orange soda, oat milk. That's, That's it. it. That's it, Billy. Delicious. All right, so now you take the vegetables and you coat them in the ginger and the garlic. And once that's done, you're going to add in one quart, which is four cups of vegetable stock. And then you just let it sit for like 10 minutes covered, but um, with a little bit of a vent. When you say sit, is the flame on or off? Just... Yeah, you're going you're gonna to simmer it. So you're going to simmer it. Simmer. Simmer. It's one of those words that you can't not say that way. Simmer. Simmer. Simmer down. Simmer down now. Simmer down. That? that was Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. Simmer down now. Sherry O'Terry. Oh, gosh. I love that. Wait, are we still allowed to like her? She... She's okay, I She's think. She's okay. All right, so I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and then I'm going to let it simmer. I'm putting the top simmer. on with a little bit of a vent, because that's what it told me to do. Right. And that's it. Perfect. Well, it's gone. since that it, that, that it. That and, um, and I'm going to start working on my garnishes. You should probably Yiddish word of the it's day. It's time for the Yiddish word of the day. Let's do it. So uh, let's take it away for this week's Yiddish word of the day. Which I think, is it my mom today? I think it's your mom. All oh, right. We'll find you. Bubby. Okay. Bubby. Good morning. Good morning, Beth. It's still morning here in California. <laughs> yes, we have uh, the three hour time difference. Yes. Yes. So it, is, it, is it sunny there? I hate to say it is not sunny. We had a major thunderstorm That's California of. Sun, uh, <laughs> Wednesday night and thunder, like it was waking the kids up thunder. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. No, it was crazy. Yeah, it was. All right. So you are here for the Yiddish word of the day. I what am do you have here for, us? for the Yiddish. For today, I have ungapachka. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, ungapachka, it, the best the best example I have is it actually it means uh, busy, rid ridiculously busy, or like over decorated. My my best example is when kids make um, they're decorating cookies or cupcakes, uh -huh. and they throw on all the candy and over the top and it, to the point of disgusting. But they are very proud of their creation. Well, and they can't wait to eat it. E kind of sure. <laughs> so ungapachka? Ungapachka. That cupcake is ungapachka, which means that ridiculously. Is ungapachka. Yes. Oh, that's yes. a fascinating word. I don't know that I've ever used that. Uh your children have decorated cookies, ungapachka. <laughs> My children have decorated a lot of things, ungapachka. Now did uh, now have you used this word in your own life ever? Yes. Yes, I actually, I think I've used it a long time ago. I don't think it's something I refer to much anymore. But when I, I saw say, the word, I recognized it. I was going to say, I, I've i never heard that word. And it's not one of those ones that you hear like every day on the oh, well, I was trying to think a little outside the box because otherwise, you know, we're kind of, we've kind of used the usual words. So can your soup be ungapachka? Can you put too much in the soup? Yeah, <laughs> over the top. <laughs> Not that we would do that, of course, but never, never put too much. There's never no. ungapachka. You, you could could ungapachka your whole your life. House, ungapachka, like it's well, just sure. got too much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up the I word chachka. That that's another one that would kind of go along with ungapachka. So you can ungapachka your house with chachkas. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, that's just awesome. It's uh, that's so. This hilarious. is a, a two for one word of the day. Yes. Well, ungapachka your house with chachkas. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's beautiful. All right. Well, thank you so much. I love you. I love you, and I'll see you soon. See you soon. Love you. Love Bye. you, honey. Bye. <laughs> Ungapachka. Ungapachka. That's like a that's like a like a, man, a too much like a menagerie like just too much stuff. Well, we, around, we like. decided that you could that chachkas make your house ungapachka. Yes, too many chachkas <laughs> make your house ungapachka. Which his house. <laughs> so, I think we, we're all a little guilty. My children have enough toys at ungapachka with the toys. It's just a menagerie of mess. Yeah. A messy menagerie. Yeah.
What are like, you doing? Yeah, a very, very, so I'm, now I'm just chopping up my um, garnish, um, which are all the various things you're going to throw in your soup. So I'm doing, again, um, green onions, scallions. I'm going to do, oh, the vermicelli is, um, is, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit hot, I don't know really. Um, the vermicelli is soaking in boiling water for like another minute or so. Um, that's just a rice noodle, and that'll mm. go in the soup. Then you put that off to the side. You just throw it in like boiling water. Boiling water. It's instant, so you just boil it and, and let done. it sit, and then it's done. Kind of like a cup of noodles. And I'm gonna do some jalapeno, some lime. Mm. So we've got bean sprouts here. I'm gonna do some basil, some mint, and some cilantro, and then these various yeah, sauces yeah, you can yeah. throw in. So wait. essentially, you put in whatever you want. You can put in everything. You can put in nothing. It's whatever your taste is. So you could just eat broth with. Some you could bread. eat just the broth with the bread. Or some broth with noodles. Yeah. My kids would probably do that. Although my kids love jalapenos. They probably do they? Those. Yes. Your kids are very adventurous. They like to eat crazy stuff. They're not the typical kids. What's going on with yours? Mine is just boiling. That's it's just, just boiling. I wish I could say there was something really magical going on, but it's just boiling at this point. So I'm doing all the work. You're now. doing all the work, and honestly, I'm just sitting here relaxing and watching you go. <laughs> All right. And I just, I love that you have so many elements to your meal. It's well, very Amy. It is, it's very me. And I will say that normally I'll put each thing in a different bowl, but today I'm just going to put it all on one plate. Just do it. Um, but it's very pretty. It's very colorful. Although a lot of green, which is, I mean, lovely. But It's funny for this time of year to be so much green. So much green, yeah. Well, I mean, is it a fall recipe? It's an anytime recipe. Again, the scallions are making me cry. It's mm. funny, I usually cry, but none of this food is making me really? tear up today. Hey, what's my trick with the limes? Oh, roll them. Roll, roll the them. limes so that you loosen the juices. Oh my god, I Loosen can't. the juices. Loosen the juices. Is my mascara running now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else crying? No, I have to say, I'm always so sensitive, I'm surprised I'm not crying. I mean, literally, who cries over scallions? That's ridiculous. Who cries over scallions? Me. I'm so surprised. It's it's just silly. Now do you squeeze the lime over the you soup? You squeeze the lime into the soup, which is mm. the best. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm so yeah, excited. It's so good. What else? I'm gonna give this a stir. I've got some um well, like I said, I've got you know what's not on this recipe that I like to add oh. is um as as an option is um I brought some um soy some sorry, some uh my eyeballs are making me distracted. Um tofu. Some very firm mm. tofu. You could also do baked tofu. That's good stuff too. Yum. Yeah. That's but I like to throw some tofu in there. So I, you know, listen, you don't have to be exact with this. I mean, as far, other than like, <laughs> other than like, um, following the, uh, the recipe for the soup, which, you know, you kind of want to do. So basically this is like a stock. You build the stock and then everything else is just You build extra. the stock and the rest is extra. So you could do this like hours ahead. This is jalapeno, lady. Oh, careful oh, those no. fingers. Ah, Billy. <laughs> you don't have to put it in. This is for the people who like it hot. I'm going to put it in. My husband likes it hot. Listen, I don't. So Just I got to be careful. I know. If you're crying, My eyeballs are already eyes. jacked up. Like hot. Yeah. Sam likes hot? Samantha eats all kinds of stuff. Samantha works with me at Guildhall. She's here today. Oh, she... what's have for dinner today? Don't tell me guinea pig. I can't. No. Is it guinea pig? No. Yeah. You're not. You're not having guinea pig tonight. No, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. No that's... judgment. No judgment. Uh, Samantha is, is, it is like very a fan of the Latin culture, is and like and you can actually get guinea pig here in specialty stores. And and yeah, it's Peruvian. Peruvian people eat guinea pig. Well, I and wonder if it's like a squirrel. Like what kind of? What? Well, listen, it's meat. It's you know, like it's just that they're. It tastes like chicken. It's There's just that they're cute. Them. And I had a guinea pig named Francis. So. <laughs> Go check. It doesn't stop her. It doesn't stop her at all. We're running out of time. All but right. anyway, I always send Sam I'm funny gonna... guinea pig videos on Facebook and Instagram just to kind of make her feel bad. <laughs> but also just to be funny. Not to make her feel bad. I don't really mean that. I need, I need a pot holder. What's wrong with me? <laughs> she doesn't feel bad. Um, do you want to... Um... I'm going to zhuzh my stuff with the... I think you can start with... Okay, zhuzh. Yeah, I'm going to zhuzh. Zhuzh You don't have a pot holder, do you? I no. Oh. Use a... A uh, what do you call it? A, um, right, use I'm going with the immersion blender. Okay, we're running up. We're running out of time here. We're just yakking away with you guys. I'm chopping up some basil, some mint, some cilantro. Boom! Choppy, choppy, chop. Horse chop. Ooh, that smells good. I love mint. Ooh, 
Fresh mint. That's like Bobby Flay. Fresh mint. There's like very few things better than fresh mint, you know? It's so strong and like delicious. Okay, we got some fresh mint over here. Some cilantro, and you know, without like the cilantro, you you, don't, you can chop up the stalks. You don't need to just peel the leaves off. You eat the stems too. So, chopping up some cilantro. I have a very sharp knife. I think I told you that. I'm trying not to cut myself. Um, right. Cilantro. Okay. This soup is ready to rock and roll. I think mine is too. Um, so the key with mine is you got to strain out the thing, so I'm doing a little trick for that. Um, I'm going to cut up some of this. What kind of cheese is that again? It's not cheese. It's, it's, this is tofu. Yeah, I don't know if I would like cheese. Cheese would definitely not work in this. Don't do cheese. <laughs> <laughs> tofu, you know, is, is, is fermented soybean. He's eaten them before. Yeah. Them. I love tofu. I feed him stuff. Okay. <laughs> She's sneaky that way. Do you know when you're eating guinea pig? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's had it before. Has he? Yeah. He just didn't know. All right. He's like, when did I have it? Just don't tell him. How dare you? All right. See, the well, cashew we are running cream, out of time. you just throw in. Uh-oh. Got to drain my noodles. Drain your noodles. And then you mix, and it's done. Oops. Well, why don't you scoop up your soup? Yeah, I will. One second. And then we'll get mine going. We'll do a two juice digest. Yeah. Sometimes when we run out of time, we make all this stuff, and then we don't have a chance to eat it. We'll film a little something at the end so you can get the review. We call it two juice digesting. Soup. <laughs> all right. Oop. You have the ladle over there. That I do. Up. Do you need to use no, a I'm different one? This. Okay. Whoopsie. Jalapeno down. Okay. All right. Boom. All right. We can go over a couple minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> this soup is hot, but it's done. Hot, but done. Hot, but done. Okay. Do you want to slice up? Sure. A couple pieces of this right here. I do. Ooh, yeah, crazy. I do. Use my crazy knife here. I got it. It's wet. Okay. So, ooh. for my soup. Amy. Amy. I'm going to strain it into another bowl. I don't have time for that. So I'm using cheesecloth. Ooh. You know I love cheesecloth. I'm, I'm a big fan. Well, I don't have a, uh, you know what? No time for that. Just gonna. <laughs> Normally, I would strain it into cheesecloth. You're I'm just gonna. gonna I'm just the, gonna the ladle, bowl. use some soup in here. Okay. But this is. I'm clearing. You're not getting any of the aromatics in because they're straining out of the bowl. Please don't. I know, right? I'll just do a little here. for now. So you can see if you look up. Yes, I'm just. This spoon is actually really good because it's got a little drain in it. That's actually perfect. See, it's got little holes in it. There you go. So I'm just. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. It smells so. Let's good. hope it's good. This bread is amazing. Isn't it if so good? If this soup sucks, the bread's good. <laughs> oh. All right. So, I'm going to throw a little noodle in there, right? Yep, with your hands. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's very hot. Ha-ha! That's like oh. me with the matzo ball A little bit of bean sprouts. Hand. Yeah, yeah, do it. A little bit of yes, mint. All those things. You said you wanted jalapenos. Yes. No. Uh, some... Oh, wait, don't forget bean sprouts are mine. I know. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, scallions, boom, boom, oops, none there. Uh, whatever that is, <laughs> whatever this is, I think it's cilantro. Cilantro, mint, cilantro's not my favorite, but we're gonna go with it. Oh, well, I already put it in. Sorry, it's, fine. it's in there. We're eating lime. it. Lime, I'm putting tofu in mine. Do you, want, oh, you have tofu? I already did, yeah. Lime, boom. okay, boom. Oh, boom. Spoons over here. spoons. Okay, we're tasting and then we're out. <laughs> yeah, we're out, we're over time. This is what happens at the end of the show. This is the faux pho. Fofa. Oh, that's delicious. It's very good. That's very wonderful. Good. Now I'm tired yours. <laughs> I'm just sorry that our guests can't eat it yet. 
Why not? Ooh, that's good. I just my voice. My <laughs> I thought that was the reaction to your own soup. I know. Woo! Woo! I was like, oh, wow, Amy. Hot. Mmm. Good stuff. Oh my gosh. Two Jews making food. Two Jews making soup. We literally soup did. Soup for you. Two we soup. did two Jews. It took a little bit longer than usual, but uh, thank you for joining us for Two Jews Making food. food. I'm Amy. And I'm Rebecca. And join us next time for more schmaltz, schmaltz and, and shtick. Bye. <laughs> thank you.